May is uh, Skin Cancer Awareness Month, and so we're going to do something special this morning because skin cancer is one of those types of cancers that if it's if it's caught early, you can uh, can treat it and you can beat it. Yet still, thousands of Americans die from skin cancer every year. So there's a special RV out here. We're going to explain all about it. Sam's going to come out here and join me as well. Dermatologist Janine Downey is going to help us explain what it's all about because it's about screening. It's about finding it early. Isn't right. It? I mean, melanoma and skin cancer in general is one of the most preventative forms of cancer. Yet over 1.5 million Americans will be diagnosed with skin cancer this year alone. It's frightening. And so this RV is going to be traveling around the country. Right. Last year it was traveling from May until September. This year is traveling from April until October. And when we were in St. Petersburg, Florida, in April, mm -hmm. they diagnosed 10 potential melanomas in one day. So this is really, it's, it's preventable. It's the seventh leading cancer melanoma in the country. It's, it's just it's not necessary. And this is going to save yeah, a lot of save lives. lives. Are, are more people, or is a certain kind of skin type that's more susceptible than other types of skin when it comes to skin cancer? You know, Robin, every type of skin is susceptible to skin cancer. So you'll get fair people people with the freckles and blonde or red hair that are super susceptible and then you get darker complected people that are also susceptible but unfortunately what's happening is the melanoma mortality incidence is, ri is rising in olive skin people and dark skin people because they're presenting with thicker melanomas mm. so everybody needs to be checked this is an everybody thing I know and, I, and you think okay today is a cloudy day and sometimes you think you have to be in direct sunlight but that's not always the case no I mean my three big tips are one wear at least an SPF 30 every single day rain or shine January through December, regardless of your race. Two, get a body check once a year by a board certified dermatologist and look at your own skin yeah. to see if you see things changing. My patients help me diagnose them all the time. And three, avoid tanning beds. Avoid yeah. tanning beds. They increase your rates, your incidence of melanoma by 75%. Well, some folks are getting checked out. You know, Sam has been battling this and had a, a little, he still has a little, a little marker on his forehead, but Sam's inside with some of those that are getting screened. Sam? Hi, Robin. Yeah, we're inside the van here and there's a waiting area. There's also an examination area and Dr. Elizabeth Hale is here from NYU and we've got a patient from our audience. What's your name? Sheila Hodgkin. Okay, and Sheila's actually getting an exam. So, Dr. Hale, what are we looking for when you're doing the look? What are you looking for? So it's important to realize that people of all skin types can develop abnormal moles Absolutely. and can develop skin cancer. So I'm looking now, all areas of the skin can be affected. For example, here we do have some moles even on the palms of the hands. Right. These look okay. But you basically want to look for the A, B, C, Ds. So A is for asymmetry. Right. B is border irregularity. C is color variability. D is enlarging diameter. And E is evolution. And change is really the most important. So if you if you notice a change, you should see a dermatologist and have that lesion biopsy. And, and thankfully, mine was not uh, melanoma. Mine was just basal cell, uh, right in the middle of the forehead where the scar is. But that's what I noticed. I noticed the change in the area. It would get exactly. red. It would open up. It would go away and then come back. So we say check your skin but don't be the final voice on your own skin. If you see something that looks a little odd, go to a doctor. Absolutely. Like you mentioned, basal cell carcinoma is the most common. Fortunately, it's the least aggressive, but the pimple that doesn't go away, the cut that doesn't heal, all of these things should be checked and evaluated, and everyone should get in for an annual skin check. All right, Robin? All right, Sam, thank you so much. And so again, Janine is going to be traveling to 50 cities. So it's a Road to Healthy Skin Tour, and I want people to understand to 50 different cities, they should be using Aveeno Sunblock, Neutrogena Sunblock, Ocean Potion Sunblock, things from over the counter they can put on and reapply every two hours. We want to decrease the incidence of skin cancer. This is important. We're going to do it together. I'm excited. I know you are, Janine. Mm -hmm. Thank you so very much. And for more information, find out what those cities are, go to our website at abcnews.com.